A white peacock. What can it mean? What are those creatures that chase it? The Garuda game. But see, Rangda has the soldiers under her spell. A fresh mortal at the gate? Greetings, little fly. Welcome to my web. <laughs> A city of such beautiful waters, but the waters are now choked with poison. There used to be many more lotus flowers. They always brought me such joy. And Raji can grow more, if only she thinks of it. To mighty Lord Vishnu. This must be Hiranyanagari. I have heard such tales of this place. <sighs> she recognizes the city built to your glory. Are you not pleased, O Vishnu? It was my city, indeed. Built to house my temple. But it is no longer mine. A great shadow fallen over it. Demons of Rangda in my city. Her shadow is long. You must defeat them, Raji. She cannot hear you, but she knows what to do. city, a prosperous city filled with marvels. Delicate carvings and intricate mechanisms, mills powered by water, 
wheels that turn other wheels, that open gates and lift great weights. Janasura, demons of water, mechanical slaves to Ranga. Careful, my Raji. Avoid their gaze. That gives her a chance. But the way is blocked. Look, the Gajan waters are high. There are mechanisms to lower them. But what does she know of cocks and wings? She is clever, this girl. She will find a way. Even the fish. It can be put right, Vishnu. It is why we are here.
But what about us, Didi? Why do we have no mother, no father? They are up there in the stars, little brother.
This is a place of cunning. The mills, the water that feeds the green fields. There is no denying it is clever, Vishnu. It is such a concentration of power. And now it is in Brangda's hands. These people have no will. Their minds are clouded by Randa's shadow. And so the city was taken without any way to fight back. But they are alive, and so they can be free. Kadru's eggs began to hatch. 
inside each one was a coiling snake. Vinita, impatient and jealous that her sister's eggs had already hatched, took it upon herself to break open one of her own eggs. Inside Vinita's egg was a half-formed bird-like creature. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her, saying that she would be a slave to Kadru until her second egg hatched. And if she did not show patience with that hatching, she would forever be a slave. And so, under the curse of a half-formed offspring, and through the machinations of Kadru and her Naga children, Vedita became a slave to her sister. Years passed until one day, Vedita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda, the king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. He was too powerful for the Devas to defeat and so seized the elixir from them. I saw that Garuda did not want the elixir for himself and so I manifested myself to him. Because his heart was pure, I granted him the gift of immortality. In return, he granted me the gift of becoming my mount, should I so desire it. I warned Garuda of the deceptive nature of the Nagas. So Garuda returned to the Nagas with the elixir, but tricked them, telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river. He attacked them unsuspecting as they bathed and ate them up. He freed his mother, Vinita. For safekeeping, Brahma took the elixir and bore it back to the heavens. This is one of the mechanisms that will lower the Guardian waters. Is it too much for her? Cogs and levers. This is no challenge compared to fighting demons.
The waters drain. It is not enough. There is more to do. Another garrison to fight. She must hurry. We do not want Randa to notice until Raji is prepared. She must cleanse this, Durga. She must cleanse all of this. She will. And perhaps the tree will grant her another vision of the future. did this being want with Golu? To instruct him? To control him? Raji did not know what I knew. Here lay our greatest peril. <laughs> 